I see the same thing before, but hello everyone, how are you? And uh, welcome to yet another live. Um, I just want to, number one, test this filo pastry in a metal plate without baking powder, a baking paper, sorry. And um, also, like, I need a little bit of meal prep done for um, the week coming because um, I don't have much. <laughs> I wasn't very good last week with my meal prepping, so I'm running out of um, meals. Anyway, so in the bowl, so if you haven't worked out yet, we're making bacon and egg quiche and um, like for me I like to make um, my food like really yummy so I've got some herbs and spices here that um, I'm going to add so in the bowl I have added two cups of shredded mozzarella and um, before I move on I'm just going to prepare I want to fry like lightly fry the bacon 200 grams of bacon so we'll do that just coat the pan with oil I'm going to say about a tablespoon of oil and 200 grams of bacon spread that evenly and then oops just going to place that on the heat Going good. Four eggs. <laughs> and if you're watching today, please say hi. Let us know where you're watching from. And, uh, you know, perhaps if you're, how long you're on the keto diet or if it's something that you're, you know, figuring out or interested in. Okay. Fourth egg. Chuck that. All right, I'm just gonna lightly whisk my eggs first before I add them. Break up the yolks and add it to the cheese. Okay, and then I have these little removable, so it's easy to remove your quiche. These are mini quiche pans. And, but you know, you don't only have to use those. You can use, you can even adjust this recipe to use like um, in a burger bun mold or even cupcake mold. Um, a lot of people actually don't use, use pastry to make these quiches. Um, or make a quiche you can do it pastry free however sometimes you do just want a variation you know so I'm that's me today <laughs> and um, okay so we'll set the side aside for now and I'll grab some baking paper And next, you're going to need um, one full recipe of the phyllo pastry. Now, um, if you are not interested in the phyllo pastry, you should be because it's amazing. But you can use fathead dough or you can just leave it out completely. So, while I'm rolling, let's have a roll call. Hello, everyone. I've been so quiet thus far, they probably all thought you'd finally top me off. Oh, boom. I don't think that would be possible. And okay. All right, so in the chat we have got Auntie Judy. Auntie Judy! My sister from another Mr. North, but nice Danny Hello, Danny! Oh, Ella is here. Oh, well, she's here, but not here. Can I watch the replay tomorrow? Oh, thank you, Ella. Uh, Mary Ann is here. Hello, Mary Ann! Kelly Whitbread. Oh. Kerry. Angie, she, she was smart to me in the week, so she can oh. give me call Kelly for today. 
Uh, Angie Hostupler. Hello, Angie. Auntie Chris is here. Hello, Auntie. How are you feeling? Auntie's got a paper and a pen and she is ready. Right. And uh, there is a list of ingredients in the description box. And I don't think like we'll be posting a video of this because like it's so it's such a common recipe and a staple aside from the filo paste, it's such a staple on the keto diet. You, if, you should do it as a uh, as a short maybe. Maybe. Uh, Becky is here. Hello, Becky. How are you? <laughs> Lucky is here, uh, who is salivating over the bacon. Oh yes, and the smell is. Pretty awesome as usual. Pretty damn good. Uh, Debbie Dean, a new Thank name in the chat. Debbie is, has been doing keto for four years. Four years, wow. And is That's watching cool. from Lynchburg, I'm going to say Tennessee, TN, Tennessee. I, mean, I think Tennessee. so too. Welcome, Welcome Debbie. Debbie. Michael Rosenau. Hello, Michael. How hello, are you? hello, crazy and not as crazy Pete. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's see if off here. Shirley Millar is here. Hello, Shirley. Nancy Griffith. Hello, Nancy. Who says you, really, you look really pretty tonight, Mel. Oh. Just as always, I like your hair that way. Oh, thank you. I should do it more often because a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't cook with your hair open. Uh, it's a fine line <laughs> when, yes, you shouldn't, but it's a fine line like when you're, you're trying to not look offensive on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then you leave your hair open, blah blah blah. <laughs> anyway. You never look at things. Uh, Dawn Higgs is here. Oh, hello Dawn. How My are name you? is Chet. Dawn says, hi, I'm from UK. Sorry, I'm late. That's okay, Dawn. Oh, no, Dawn. that's okay, Dawn. Welcome to the party. We, yes. we won't find you this week, but we may do next week. <laughs> uh, yes, and warning is my husband is... Um, he's the one that distracts us and what else do you do? Poke fun at people's surnames or no, you mispronounce them but you poke fun at all your friends. <laughs> I was so waiting to see what you were going to say after you said my husband is and then there was a, just a pregnant pause in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruth is here. Uh, hello Ruth, how are you? She says I'm late, my son had his 50th birthday party. Oh, happy birthday. What? Ruth's son Ruth's has son had 50 50th birthday. Birthday. Yeah. Wow! Wow, Ruth! Gosh, that's amazing! Ruth Congratulations! Doesn't, Ruth doesn't look old enough to have a fifty-year-old no nope. baby boy. I said that the other week, and I didn't want to say it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Becky says, "I like your hair today, Mel. Bringing back memories. I used to wear a ponytail to one side, just like that in college." Ah, uh, nice. And then he says, here, we just call that German Shepherd Glitter in our foods. <laughs> now Michael says, go Chris, distract her. Uh, he can try. <laughs> Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. A lot of the time, I have to say, it does not. At least, though, if I have something to say, I actually say it out loud. What do you mean? Well, Who doesn't say what they want to say out loud? Do you, do you remember, I'll cast your mind way, way, way back to yesterday. Way back to yesterday. Yep, where you were determined in three different conversations that you told me something and then you finally admitted that you'd only said it in your own head. No, I wasn't stubborn with that. I was just saying, I said it once and then I said, oh, this is what, and then you said, what should I say? And you, then I said, oh, I said it in my head. It comes off clean off the baking paper. And like, I, I have always rolled this really thin. Um, if you go super thin so that it's almost see-through or, or like opaque, you just create tension in your baking paper like this. And then you pull like down and flat and then you release it. But it's, it's really good. Anywho, we are now going to cut out our shape. How's my, I think my bacon's ready. What do you guys reckon? And how will they know? I'm showing. Oh. I think they look good. Good enough. Pretty good to me. Yeah. It smells like very nice. <laughs> I have my oven preheated to 350 Fahrenheit. Or 176 degrees Celsius. 
Are we actually learning cooking things? People, hold on to your heads. Japan. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Well, Becky says, am I not making a cameo appearance today? Yes. I normally do when mom is here. Yes. But just for you, Becky. Because you asked. Hi, Becky. I hope you're having a great day. Wearing a t-shirt today. Yeah, I am actually dressed this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, where is my olive oil spray? It is up there somewhere. It's, it is not. It was. I swear I haven't touched it. But I'll find it for you if you like. Yes, please. Otherwise, I'm just going to pour so on olive oil into um, my things and spread it, my uh, templates. I swear it was... I feel like I've been sabotaged here intentionally. Not where I said it was. Oh, where is it? Are you are you actually laughing at it? It's well, not, it's either there it's or it's not here. There. <laughs> or it's in one of No, that's not where it stays. It shouldn't be there. Oh, you, do you mean this? Oh yeah. Just... I beg your pardon everybody. I suffer from an illness called ADHD, like really bad. No, no, um, you don't suffer from it. I suffer from it. Yes. So he has to deal with um, cupboard doors getting left open, uh, jar, jar lids not being closed properly and obviously this was in full display of my condition. So, ah, Dawn says, I've just baked both the chicken flour bread and almond flour, it's now 12 p.m. And I'm waiting for the first one to cool and the second one to come out the oven. Ooh. Oh yeah. That, yeah. Wow, that's good. You are in for a lovely afternoon, Dawn. Danny says, Chris, you so know, just make faces and ta-da, our lovely mum is distracted. And Michael says, Danielle, that's his normal face. <laughs> <laughs> yep, can't change it. Look how easy they came off. The baking paper. People, this dough is awesome. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Becky says, thank you, Chris. You're most welcome, Becky. Danny says, dang, Chris, I had the dollar bills all ready and all. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Uh, there may or may not be a video of me circulating from a Friday night get-together where there's a lot of wiggle wiggle. For the right price, I will sell that video. <laughs> Becky says, Becky, the rest of us aren't worthy. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I apologize. Good. I apologize. Good. Yes. Hello, everyone. I'm very sorry. Yes. Hi. Nice yes. to see you all. See? I hope you're all having a great day. See? Yep. Good, you got him good. Someone woke up and chose violence this morning. No, I, I, it wasn't me, it was, it was Lucky. Lucky always wakes up and chooses violence with me. Michael says, Chris needs hundred dollar bills and Oz Dan, our buck is a coin. Yes, mind you, I could just see Danny throwing coins at me. <laughs> Make it stop! Uh, now you saw that last one was sticking to my hands. I didn't wet my hands first, obviously because when I uh, remove this one, this dough from the paper, it worked out fine, but my hands were sticky from that and I should have really just rinsed my hands. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Any more comments? Daddy says, we enjoy Mel, they suffer. ADHD keeps you, ADHD keeps you light. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, Danny, Danny, Danny. I don't even know where to begin with you. 
Oh, Jojo Johnson is in the house. Hello, Jojo. How are you? And Mr. Jojo, if you're here too. Yes. Yes. Hi, everyone. I'm using my browser to avoid the ads. LOL. It's weird. Yes. I will watch and not type. Oh. We miss your typing, Jojo. Yes. Dawn says, sorry, 12 a.m. Oh, okay. 12 a.m. Yes, because she's in the UK. That makes sense. She's yeah. in the UK. Oh, yes. Well, perfect time for a midnight snack, especially with that bread. That bread, yeah. Becky says, love that you roll them out so thin, Mel. Yeah, and like you can't do, I know that with a lot of dough, uh, like dough recipes, you can't really do that because it doesn't hold up. Um, I'm just going to prepare my hands to work with this dough. And also, like it's very forgiving. If you do sort of, you know, tear the dough or something, you just pat it and it just works out fine. So I'm, I am enjoying working with this dough. <laughs> Danny says, you know, you know you all missed me. Some would say like a boil on one's backside. Hey, excuse me, my, leave my Danielle alone. Thank you very much. Kelly Whitbread says this isn't OnlyFans, Chris. <laughs> it would require a whole new lifestyle change. Ruth says I started keto in 2017, went keto raw in 22, and carnivore in 23. Nice. That's a good journey. Michael says, who is this imposter that looks like Chris? Becky says, we are really pulling Chris's leg tonight, aren't we? Thanks again, Chris. Good. You're always in trouble. It's just the, the degree that varies. Yes. And I enjoy having my leg pulled. Not, not, and I mean that just as it sounds. Dirty, dirty, dirty minded person. I, I'd be all for more of it. Get stuck into me. If I, if I give it, I have to be able to take it. Uh, Jojo says, why are you not using your pie maker? Wouldn't that be easier? Yes, yes. absolutely. Um, What's up with that? And I, no, I actually normally um, would go the easy route. Now, just because of life, I'm not going to waste your time because I would actually use this as a topper. Um, but I'm just going to put that aside now just so that I can show you this or do this quite quickly. Now, I love hand pies. I do. And I love even family size pies. But this is a different mold, right? And um, it's, it's a proper mini quiche mold. So that's why I'm not using my pie maker. The hell of an excuse. No, but it's a, it's a valid one because uh, any baker would know that that's a proper uh, quiche mold. I don't know any baker would know. You, I know we all know you're not a baker, Christopher. <laughs> uh, Lackey says, Chris, apology not accepted, so insincere. Yes, Lackey, I agree. Thank you for noticing. My sarcasm was duly intended. Next time I will chisel it into a piece of stone and send it by express mail just for you. Becky says, Chef is not here tonight. No, he's not actually. Well, a Chef was actually just um, released a, another video and uh, there's things that you have to do after you release a video and I assume that he's busy with that. And I mean, like, yeah. So let's give him a pass for today, guys. <laughs> yeah, and after the live, go check out Chef's channel if you haven't. Yes, he actually, it's chicken nuggets, people. Ooh. And chicken nuggets like you've never seen before. He uses um, salami, funny enough. So that was very interesting for me to watch. That sounds awesome, actually. Yes. I love the stuff Chef comes up with. Yeah, it's so original. J 
Jojo says Gene broke his foot. Oh, wow, okay. That's not Oh no, so that'd great. be awful. He, Sorry. He has doped up on pain meds from surgery yesterday. He is knocked out. Wow. Hope he, uh, hope he recovers quickly and uh, can I have some of his pain meds because, you know. No, let's wait for this because. I was, I was going to be very rude. Should I? I? I don't know. Because what? You need drugs to live with me? Is that what you're trying to get at? I was just thinking that Gene is enjoying an immense amount of silence and peace while he's knocked out, you know? So if I got some of his meds... And guess who talks the most out of the two of us? Obviously you. I think it's the noises in his head that he probably wants relief from. <laughs> Uh, Danny says, no, no, Chris, when someone says, did you miss me, answer yes with every bullet so far. <laughs> I like mine better though. Oh, Grandma Green is here. Hello, Grandma Green. How are you? Well, I hope that Grandma's actually all right because uh, she just got out of the hospital a couple of hours ago. Oh, yes, I do hope you're all right. What is going on over there? Hope you're okay, Grandma. Uh, Michael says it's too late, Danny. Chris is beyond learning new things. This may well be correct and, and factually accurate. Jojo says, Haha, Mel, your facial expressions are hilarious. And it is a fancy mold. <laughs> I don't have a poker face, unfortunately. Not a good one. Anyway. And Michael says, Ooh, Christopher in trouble. <laughs> As always. Uh, Becky saw Chef's post. It's great. Yes. Oh, Danny. Super glue would give Mel peace on Chris's lips. Oh, giving me ideas. Unfortunately, you're not a heavy sleeper, so I couldn't, I don't know if I could pull it off. <laughs> Pasty. <laughs> oh, Aunt, Auntie Chris is weighing in here. Auntie Chris will have some good ones it's for been you. It's been a while since she took a shot at me. She says, Chris, you are a baker. You can make Mel's peanut butter buns. <laughs> I think that was the last time we baked two. How long ago was that? Which is like about two years. <laughs> I laugh because they don't know the amount of stress that went on behind that video. It looks all... Yes, and, and, and I don't think people... Oh. He gets like really worked up before he has to bake. <sighs> now, <laughs> now must I do this and why isn't this like, <coughs> you know, why doesn't it look like yours? <laughs> it is not therapeutic. Smacky anyway. says, Chris, keep that right up. Mel will knock you out in the rolling pin. No meds necessary. <laughs> This is why I don't appear on camera some weeks, because I've got to hide the bruises. Men, men with oh. the towel. Danny says duct tape, Mel. No? Duct, duct tape. Oh, say, I'd have to duct tape your hand so you couldn't remove it. So I can get some peace and quiet. Michael says, I'm sure they're super glue lipstick designed for wives to shut up their husbands. Yeah. I love how you're just like nodding along with all this. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm, you know what? People are giving me some great ideas. All right, well, while, while you're on that track, tell the people what happens when I don't talk for one hour. One hour? One hour. There's definitely something wrong. And so I ask the question, don't I? Are you all right? <laughs> Immediately when I'm quiet for any length of time. Are you okay, Bob? Are you okay? Okay, let's just do some work. I added a teaspoon of black cracked pepper to uh, my mixture and uh, two teaspoons of dried mixed herbs and I'm adding a teaspoon of parsley. Parsley is really good for you. Not only is it tasty, but it, you get uh, a little, it's packed with fiber. So I'm just gonna grab a set. Now I can do this with a spoon, I think. The oil's there if you need it. Thank you, I've used it already. Woo! Yeah. I'm 
gonna enjoy this. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, did you say something? This um, is not for you. I was speaking for you. I'm actually you're, gonna, you're gonna hide these. Yeah, good luck with that. This time. So I'll show you um, my best filling and my worst one, right? And we'll see the results afterwards. So this is my best, I, this is my best, I think, and that's my worst. This is, my fingers weren't wet, so the dough stuck to my hands. And now we're just going to share this between them all. Just make sure it is properly mixed. Oh my goodness. Sandy Reed is here. Sandy. Sandy, it has oh. been so long. I forgot what I gave you crap about it's last It's not. Time it's been it. a few weeks. It hasn't been that long, has it, Sandy? Feel, feels like an eternity. And Sandy says, good evening. I missed you guys. Well, we missed you too, Sandy. Yeah, we missed you. Maybe. Just a little bit. Danny says, we love you, Chris. <laughs> Despite all your flaws. And Lackey says, I sound so in insincere, really. I think uh, most of us are very long-suffering to put up with the personality <laughs> that Chris has. <laughs> There's silence, people. <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <clears throat> oh, Dawn says, OMG, just checked almond flour loaf. It's risen to the top of my Borman pan. Looking yes. forward to these. Yes. Oh, the, yeah. And I do find, like the chicken uh, loaf, the CK chicken loaf is good for zero carb. And um, once it cools down, it has less of a chicken smell, right? When it's warm, you'll think, oh my God, am I going to just be tasting chicken? But um, if you have depending on your fillings that you have with that chicken bread it works out really good and michael rose now just made a loaf of bread with ck pork flour my mind was blown away ck pork flour pork flour <clears throat> pork flour which is the uh he used pork rice Oh yeah, crushed, just, I'm wondering what... Uh, crushed pork rinds in place of the, the almond flour, chicken flour combined. I wonder how the taste is. He actually quite liked it, but it depends on, you know, what you pair it up with. You try and think of things that go with pork. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, bacon and eggs on toast. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like a ham and egg sandwich or, or something. You know what, even a slice of roasted lamb with some mint sauce on it would be beautiful. Anyway, these are going in the oven. How long for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Are you timing? I am. And we are still at 3.50. Fantastic. Yeah. Oven's working. Uh, Danny says, what did you break? A whole hour. <laughs> For my silence. And I don't ever break anything. Except when I do. Except when you do. Yeah. You you can be quite um <clears throat> all thumbs, eh? You can be quite a uh, clumsy, shall we say? Ham fisted, they call it. Ham fisted, cool. Yeah. My auntie always, always, always used to say I am cack-handed. Cack-handed. And I don't know if that translates anywhere, but it just basically means that. Bum th bumble fingers or... I think Dawn might know uh, what that means. Yeah, or cack-handed. She's from the UK. And she got that from me trying to do up buttons on a shirt one day. That's where that started. And to this day, I still can't do it properly. Buttons on a shirt. Um, it's very awkward for me, especially uh, the cuff, the cuffs on the shirt. Maybe even you know. even uh, like back scratches. I I know it's weird, right? But and I think a lot of ladies, like females, are more flexible than men. But if I have an that sounds like bullshit straight off the bat. Okay, let's talk about an, uh, back scratches. 
I can in some way or some form reach every part of my back. Well, you can't do that. No. It's, it's all this muscle that I'm carrying around doesn't allow me to twist that far. <clears throat> muscle? Yeah, very, very, very deep below most of the fat. There is some muscle. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. A grandma Green says, heart is acting up. They thought fib at first, but now they think a trial fibrillation. Oh. Atrial fib. I think it's atrial fibrillation. They are not going to be able to range my echocardiogram until Monday, so they released me with prescriptions. That does not oh. sound good at all. Oh. We'll be thinking of you, Grandma Green, and hope that you take it easy and uh, you get well soon. Shoo! Yeah, thanks everyone else for your nice messages to Grandma yes. in the comments. Because so many of my friends are having, um, you know, health issues and incidents like it, it, it is causing me a little bit of an anxiety to be honest with you. <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah. Can people stop getting sick? You know? Oh, I think yes. Wouldn't that be wonderful if we could all just stay healthy and yeah. But anyway. Uh, Grandma says also I uh, admit I am scared. I'll know more in a few days. Well, please do keep us updated, Grandma. Yes. Sandy says I think it's been about two months. Seven days are hectic. You see. Two months is okay. Yeah, but you said, oh no, she was only here a few weeks ago. She was not. Uh, eight weeks is a few weeks. <laughs> Admit that you're wrong. <laughs> it's several. <laughs> but thank you for joining us, Sandy, and uh, taking time uh, out of your day just to spend with us. And for all of you as well, if you are enjoying this live show, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and what? Smash the thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up button. I can never do that or say that right. <laughs> so you don't miss our next video. You all aren't ready. You don't know what's coming next. We got yeah. Have you not seen these? I uh, think these quote unquote influencers who do all this kind of. Stuff? I I think my interests don't um, like YouTube doesn't show me those kinds of content creators because my interests are around um, cleaning, home cleaning. <laughs> of course cooking absolutely that's first <laughs> and then um you know uh the other one they show me a lot of is uh how home tours <laughs> because i like watching home tours so yes yeah, so it's like totally on a different genre than um than what you know uh, what kind of people would those people be creating what uh, kind of content would they generally be because i watch a lot of automotive Ah, okay. Stuff on YouTube, so they're <sighs> trying to create hype over something because it's quite a competitive space, and there's not there's only so many things you can do to a car or with a car, so they have to create this hype around what's coming. The clickbait is unreal, and the the stuff over the the line y'all ain't ready, y'all ain't ready for this. It's like ah. Oh. I've yeah, seen it's and done done. everything you can possibly do to a car. It, it's not that big. All people in the fitness space, right? You know, we're disrupting the industry. But no, you're not. You're you're picking up weight and putting it back down. Like it's not that hard. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, don't don't get me started on that. Uh, Danny says pork rinds tortilla recipe from CFG replaced rind flour with palm cheese. It was yummy. Nice. Nice. Michael says he likes the lamb idea with his pork toast. And Danny Hell is run out of CK flour, but she is going to be accessing her CK flour soon. So I can't wait for you to try this tortilla recipe as well and let me know what you think. <laughs> Has anyone tried it yet? Um, I don't know. Try what? The tortilla recipe. Chef's one? Okay. No, mine. Don't Let you. us know in the comments, people, if you if you have yet. Yes. 
Now, an update from Dawn. Oh, Dawn. Chicken one didn't rise at all, but it did look a lot thicker than yours on video, so maybe I should have added a little more water, but sure, I will still enjoy. Maybe, yes. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think, to, uh, so would that mean that your baking part, did you add the baking powder? Because it should have risen, um, even if your batter was thicker. Anyway. Nice. Thank you, Dawn. Danny says, muscle, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Ah. Mm -hmm. my, my response <laughs> and thoughts exactly. Blackie says muscle and laughing. Debbie is laughing. Michael says, oh, good excuse, Chris. Explain why I can't get to every spot on my back. I'm using too many muscles. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. Sandy says, Mel, your shirt is cute. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Michael says, a few weeks ago, for someone with ADHD is a year. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yep, because there's a lot of, uh, um, there's a lot of thoughts that cross your mind in a day and they aren't organized. So what I try and do is, um, it's very difficult for me, but I, I try to focus on one thing at a time. Um, and you're constantly find, uh, fighting these thoughts that are interrupting what you should be focused on. So that is <laughs> my issue. <laughs> Woof! It, you always remind me of a, you know, like pinball, when you go to an arcade and yes, you play pinball? Yes, it, it's very much like and that. And the ball comes down and hits one of those little mushroom things, it goes ding, 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 all over the place. That's what you remind me of on a daily basis. And I sometimes do it in conversation with Chris as well. Like we'll be talking about something or he'll say, oh, what are you thinking? And um, I'll say, I'm thinking about um, a bowl, for example. And he'll say, but how did you get there? And then I will break down how I got to thinking about a bowl. And it would be here, 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 bowl. The doctors so, actually diagnose this as the cause of my migraines. Your your conversation. You don't go to the doctor. Yours is lying, people. He is lying. Your your you conversation no, no, with no. me. Okay. Are like train tracks, right? You've got these ten trains going all in the same direction, parallel to each other, and then there's a little guy working the points, and he just switches into the second track, and then the third track, and the fourth, and then back to the first, and over to the third. It's like. Huh? Do you know what I I think? Um, before a friend, I was talking to a friend of mine, and she is she um, also suffers with ADHD, and she said that this is such a conspiracy theory. So please don't quote me on it. She said, Mal, did you get the COVID vaccine? So I said, Yes, I got the COVID vaccine, and I got the booster back in 2020, right? And she said to me, a lot of people were suffering with not knowing what day it is, feeling like it was Groundhog Day, all of those fun things that happened to us, you know, during the whole lockdown thing. Of course, in Australia, we went on lockdown for ages longer than what we, than what everybody else did and what we needed to. And, um, but um, she, suspects that that vaccine has caused um, it's aggravated whatever if you even if you've had mild ADHD or if you've developed it as a result now before I used to I never used to be like this I used to be way more organized in my head and stuff like that and I was like and I'm like Oh my gosh, I thought it's just because I've become a homebody, you know, like because I work in my kitchen, most of my time is spent at home and it's kind of like, oh, two weeks have gone by, I better get out the house. And I thought it's the result of, of that, you know, being in the same space as where you would relax. You do everything in the one space. But it's, 
I'm I'm <laughs> I'm also feeling suspicious of that COVID vaccine now. <laughs> but yeah. It doesn't matter. I just have to learn to deal and cope with it. <laughs> Any comments? <laughs> that was a fantastic long-winded excuse to just explain why you are the way that you are. No, but I think <laughs> I think to go a little bit in, in depth into it is is it's interesting because when it's interesting when other people explain things to you from their perspective because when that happens to me I learn so much so <laughs> I think at the end of the day all all joking and like poking fun aside it is very very normal and a lot of people uh, have some form yeah. of ADHD. Even if or, it is mild. Yeah. Yes. And like, I don't have ADHD, but I have OCD. You know, and it's it's something that uh, I notice that I do, and I try and do things to change it or not let it affect other people. I think all of us have some form of, I don't know, personality trait or whatever you want to call it. It's perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with it. There's Could nothing you bring wrong with the, the playing cards? The playing cards? Yeah. I just want to do a demonstration. Yeah, the playing cards. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's um, all these health issues are just um, not fun um, <laughs> when you get older and like this is like ADHD is probably a number one in terms of seriousness of what we go through nowadays. Well, what some people are going through. So, imagine that this is a throwaway pal. And, you know, people are playing their cards or whatever. Chris, <laughs> this pal has to be neat at all times. I wouldn't have got these cards so, if I knew you were just using so it So, we play... <laughs> We play with the cards, the throwaway pile like this. As it should be. And then this has to be like right next to it, also tidy. See, isn't that so much better? So what do I do? I just go like this. Yeah. Cruel. Evil. <laughs> Evil there that does not sleep. Uh, no. Yes, but... um. See, you forgot, you've moved on. What is the time? Brain. It has got 15 minutes to go. So I shall go and read some comments. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm not sure whose side to pick here and who to give, uh, who to give shit to. Because Kelly Whitbread says, I tried Michael's recipe, soggy wet mess, testing to see if frying makes a difference. Which Mike, recipe? You know, Michael says, what recipe? Uh, Kerry says, the one you posted in the group yesterday. Uh, and I think I put too much liquid in. It took ages to bake. I got called out to work, so it went cold in the oven and deflated, which didn't help. Oh. I will try again, but I also found a bread recipe that uses chicken and lettuce. Wow. Nice. So I was going <clears> to <throat> say to, to Kerry, hey, that's... Uh, that's your fault because you didn't bake it correctly. Or I was going to say, hey, Michael, your recipe ain't no good, son. So I'm so on the fence here, yeah, I'm going to get splinters. Uh, speaking of Kerry's and Kelly's and all things to do with the cake, where is oh, our lovely Apologies. I need to send apologies on behalf of Kelly Bow. I'm missing my sister. Um, no, Kelly is um, moving her parents in a uh, assisted uh, living facility oh, so today. That's so that's happening today. So you can imagine that that's a lot of work. Kelly, we miss you. Uh, Kerry misses you. Chris misses you. We miss you. And our thoughts are with you um, during this probably quite stressful time. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you can do it all in a day and um, all goes well. All right, Dawn says. 
It's double acting, LOL. I made my own chicken flour and dehydrated it. It was very dry after 10 hours drying. May have taken it a bit too far. Nearly killed three of my gadgets, three of my gadgets trying to grind it. Right. Yes, I, I got myself, I did kill my Nutribullet um, and then I got myself a Ninja, um, which still surviving up today and I've made tons more chicken uh, flour with it than with the Nutribullet. So um, I'm happy to re recommend a Ninja blender if ever you're in the market for one. Um, it has worked out really well for me. So, um, I think these things are ready. How, how much time have we got? <clears throat> it's got 12 minutes to go. No, so like probably 20 minutes, up to 20 minutes would be enough. Yeah, well, so Aunt, Auntie Chris is uh, with you here because she says, my eyes are fixated on your oven door. I'm going for a fork and for the text to be a jar of salsa to spread on the top. Oh. Yes. So I'm just going to put this down. Please don't let that take fall over. Not again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Danny says energy level of a five year old on Skittles and Mountain Dew, attention of a two year old in a room of shiny things. And Kerry says, my ADHD symptoms are getting worse the older I get. I find using coping mechanisms for it helps. Yes, good, uh, good coping mechanisms, I think, is the key. Oh. And he says, I've been ADHD since I was five years old. Yeah. Oh, hello, Karen Humble is here. Karen, Hello, you made Karen. It. Finally caught alive. I'll have to go back and watch what we made today. Oh, here it is. <laughs> then he says, Fisk quite pushing. Quick, maybe quick, quick. I don't know. Danny, what did you say? I can't. With my uh, dyslexia and your typing, this is just a recipe for disaster. I think I need to make more of these. Ooh, look at that. I want to do like a Mexican flavored one, and this is more like just English, genuine English type bacon and eggs, the flavoring. But my goodness. What makes it English? Did you use posh bacon? No, it's just like, um, just like parsley. You need to watch English um, chefs I to know what I'm talking about. Bacon and egg quiche was English. Quiche, quiche. Well, it it could be right because it's such a staple food in the Western world. Yes, don't get burnt. Michael says, scattered mind is way I refer to ADHD. And Karen is the same as me. Chris, I'm the same way. Has to be neat and tidy. Exactly. Thank you, Karen. What has to be neat and tidy? Ev everything has to be neat and tidy. I can't. They're too hot. Yeah, don't burn yourself. But, this, um, this was said around the time that you were doing the playing cards thing because uh, Lackey says, Mel, you are wicked. <laughs> Unbelievable. You made me go and get cards just to throw me under the bus. I'm surprised you didn't work it out, but can you make sure that I'm doing this right? I think. Oh, now you want my help. Okay. Oh, I always want your help, love. What a lot of... Yeah, you need a... Am I going to burn myself? I think you will. Yes, I think it's best just you put it just, down di on just direct me. Put it here. No, just direct put me. Put it here. No. I want to do thing vision for Auntie Chris. Oh. Focus. There we go. It's a beautiful. Now, wouldn't you see this type of thing in a bakery, like in the breakfast section? It's like. I can't believe it. Like, somebody say to me that this. Somebody tell me that this is diet food. <laughs> it doesn't look like... No! He's, e he's eating it. How? You gave it to me? I didn't steal it from you. 
I specifically said that these were mine. I'm sorry. The power of a marriage certificate means that the words leave your mouth and don't always make it to my ears and vice versa. So I didn't hear you. Maybe you said it in your head like you did yesterday. Can you read some comments before you take a bite? Too late. I already took a bite. This is my third bite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, yeah, well then we might as well just make this work. Tell us, give us a come in, come round and uh, give us a uh, opinion of your thing. And you need to grab some page three when you're, when you, um... I'm 44 years old. I can eat the bacon and egg, what is it, quiche? Quichely. Without your help, a quickie. Come round and a tell quickie. us what you think. I'll just read some comments and I will. Uh, Michael says, don't betray me, Chris. Kerry says, just fried the bread, it did improve the texture, but pork rinds are too salty. Okay. Michael says, yes, it's salted, don't add salt to anything if you use pork rinds. <clears throat> Dawn says, that's what nearly died, my big three-in-one ninja plus two coffee grinders, oops. Oh, wow. Uh, Danny says, Christiane with the fork heading for oven was pushing me out of the way. Ah, so the other message said, uh, Fisk, quit pushing, as in, yeah, they're gonna, okay. Now I get it, thank you, Danny. So Sorry. what is it? Uh, quit pushing. Oh, quit pushing, okay. Uh, Danny also says, oh no, Michael, <clears throat> we are very organized in our own way. Yes, that doesn't make sense to some people, I think. Oh, grandma, grandma brow bark, brow bark. I'll start that again without my Hello, Grandma. Grandma Brava says, Hi, sorry I'm late again. Best duly noted and a fine will be coming in the mail. Uh, Auntie Chris says, Thank you, Thing. LOL, I knew that's what Thing was going to do. See? <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. I'm going to grab me a towel as well. Oh, hello. A dog, a dog has arrived. Why are you here? Hello, puppy. Now, I'm salivating. In between doing all that, I've got it all over myself. But so I haven't eaten the whole thing yet. Mm. Um, now, what do you want me to do? Tell you how it yeah. is. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you didn't tell me that this was keto, uh, what's the thing? Pastry? I wouldn't know. I really wouldn't know. Mm. 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 It's just beautiful. How can we fall on that? Mm. Grandma Braubach says LOL and then he says we all love things. <laughs> oh. So good. I don't even bother taking it out of the tin. I need to show, I want to show you guys. That's why I'm, I'm taking it out of the tin. Because I want to show you what, how it bakes. Because that was the experiment, right? Whoops. Okay. Oh, you have to come around. Is <laughs> between bites. Could it be? I'm busy. You don't cannot. Worry. Yeah, you have to. You're gonna burn, and what I don't do want do this then? on on a tea towel because I'm eating it. So what do you want me to do? I just need you to tell me if I'm doing this right. Yep, just uh, don't spin it so quick. <sighs> Sorry. Great. Now someone's gonna abuse me because you burnt yourself. It looks lovely. And you can see here, it's not hard. It's not a hard dough because it's still floppy, but it's holding everything in so nicely. I think it would, uh, even when it would, would cool down, it would just be like a, a more solid consistency, but it won't be firm. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Okay, don't pick it up by the oven. Um. 
I just, mm, that is absolutely sinful. Mm. Anyway, we should probably stop there, hey people, because <laughs> now we're just feeding our faces and you're getting to watch us, which is not the best thing, I think. <laughs> Any What's final wrong? comments? What's wrong with that? Chris, you need to stop like eating because we're having the live now. We would have enjoyed the silence. <clears throat> now, Becky says looking good, Mel. Thank Dawn you. says looks great. That must make for some work. Oh, must make some for work. Yes. That changes the whole sentence, doesn't it? Looks great, must make some for work. Yes, it would be lovely for work. Yes. <laughs> Michael says, don't give it to a Mel, he will eat it. Never a truer word spoken. I, uh, yes, I was not quick enough with that one. Debbie says, that looks so yummy. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, Lucky says, since keto, I made my quiche without the crust, but prefer it with the crust. Yeah, my it's goodness. not, it's not, I've had it like a ton of times with no crust. Yeah, no joke, uh, if you didn't know it was keto, you wouldn't know it was keto. Mm. What's the, is the pastry uh, made with CK flour? Mm -hmm. Which one? Almond. Almond, okay. You don't get a taste of anything, you just literally get a bacon and egg. I actually think like to make it zero, like zero, zero. Something savory, I should have actually thought of doing CK chicken flour, filo pastry. Mm. But still good taste. And I think with the chicken, um, the filo pastry made with CK chicken, you're going to get, you know those custard tarts that hold the pastries it's not solid, but it is stiff. Like you'll pick it up and it won't bend or anything. The CK Filo is like that. So just bear in mind that you need to roll it out thin because you don't need a thick pastry. So it really goes a long way. But yeah, I think I should be definitely making this <coughs> with CK chicken because then like there'll be It'll, the macros will be fabulous. And then there'll be another four of them. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go nuts with these. I, and I, I think, support this experiment. Yeah, oh, no, I and I, I think I'll just wrap them up, wrap them up and just freeze a bunch. And then like, yeah. Any more comments? <laughs> like he says, Chris behaving like he's not fed. <laughs> you would think so, right? You would it's, think so, but no, look, think at, about look at this. I am malnourished. You, <laughs> that's, I uh, get fed if I'm a good boy. Have you looked in the mirror lately, love? Oh, so you've, no. <laughs> wow, you've sunk to fat shaming me again. <laughs> well, if you're going to lie, then I have to put things right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Michael says, Chris is like my cat, always looks unfed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Mm. Uh, Kerry says, oh, Mel, vanilla slice, and then little love heart emoji thingies. Custard slice, vanilla slice, yes. And do use like the CK Almond Filo for your sweet stuff. It's just like, we have found in the past that some people can taste the chicken, some people can't, it's too hit and miss. So if you're going to do something sweet, just go with CK Almond and then, you know, all your efforts won't go to waste. Just stay with your CK Almond for the sweet stuff. But this is savory, so like, and like it's just, it's a really great pie pastry. Mm. It's so beautiful. Mm. Yeah, enjoy that. <clears throat> Sorry, people. <laughs> no, but I get crap for stuffing my face. No, it's my it's <clears throat> my brain again. Not I forgot what I said. Right, don't let's not eat now. But anyway, we're gonna sign off and uh, just want to say thank you for spending this hour with us. We hope you had lots of you got a lot of value from it and had a little bit of fun too. And yeah. 
Make your freezer meals, people. It's a goodie. You could even do, um, say, have a couple of these or one. For me, one would be enough. But, you know, have this with the side. If you're doing carnivore, you could have, you know, a couple of pieces of roast chicken. Or if you're balanced like me, I would have it with the salad. Really, really nice. Uh, just one more question yeah. uh, from Lucky. Yeah. Mel, if you wanted a thicker crust, do you suggest par baking before? You could, but I, I don't think... I think you should bake it for three minutes, yes. Um, just to be on, on the safe side, I think so. And on that note, <laughs> I hope you have a lovely weekend. Well, what's left of it. And we'll see you real soon. This is Mel and Chris signing out. Stay safe and be well. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Love you.